joined by Hayden Skipworth, Bendigo Gold Coach here on Bomber TV. And it's been a not a bad start to the season. Lost the last few games, but pretty happy with the start to the season, Hayden. Yeah, our first probably three or four games we were relatively strong. We um, we won two games against Frankston and Casey by big margins, and then we um, put in a good effort against Port Melbourne, who are you know, probably going to be flag favourites. And then the last two weeks, uh, sorry, last three weeks have been a little bit disappointing. We've um, yeah, we've been beaten convincingly by Geelong, and then we had a, a win in the week, a loss in the weekend, which which is a game I thought we we probably could have won, but um, we just sort of started slow and. And we're sort of four or five goals down all game. Is it positive for Bomber fans out of that game? Was there a few of our younger guys are starting to play some relatively good football? Can you bring us up to date on? We'll start. We'll go through a few names. Firstly, Elliot Kavanagh. Yeah, Cav. That's his second game back. Uh, he played the first game against Geelong, and he was on um, restricted game time. Um, yeah, he's he went well on the weekend. He's contested footy. He was up. He got a lot more touches. So we're hoping over the next month he can string together some really good footy. Um, what about Jackson Merritt, another one that's been playing a bit the last few weeks? Yeah, Jackson, um, he's played, I think, every game bar one. We, we rested him for one, but he's um, yeah, he's getting across the ground really well. His GPS numbers are really high. He, he looks really fresh. Um, just been working on some running patterns and trying to get him in the game a little bit more, but he's uh, he's had a really good start to the year so far, Jackson. Another two that the fans are really interested in are uh, Lachlan Dalgleish and Hal Hunter. How are they tracking? Yeah, Hal's first game for the weekend. Um, all the boys are really um, rapt to see see him out there. He's obviously gone through a, a big hamstring program. He, I don't think he played much footy at all last year. And to get him back in the park and get him through half a game is, is great for the club and great for um, house confidence as well. And, and Lockie, we've been um, putting him down back this year. We, we, I don't think he's played a lot in defence. He's sort of played mainly as a wingman and a forward, but we just want to get him down back and see if we can get him running and carrying out of the back line and give us some more, um, yeah, some more guys to break lines for us. You have the senior bomber guys that have been playing a fair bit of footy down at VFL level this year, Henry Slattery and Kyle Remus. How have they been tracking? Henry's been excellent. He's he's had one quieter game for the year. Every other game he's been in our best player. So like Ricky Dyson was, he's, he's ready to go as soon as the coaches um, call upon. Um, Kyle, he probably needs to string three or four good games together. Um, his last two games have been relatively quiet for his standards. So yeah, he probably needs to string a couple of good games over the next few weeks and um, that'll put his name back up for selection. Another guy that's been the best most weeks has been Luke Davis. Hasn't been having to crack it into the AFL side yet, but he's he's been doing really well. Unfortunately, obviously, to see him hurt his ankle on the weekend. Yeah, unfortunately um, for us as well, he went down in the first or second quarters, which which obviously didn't help. But yeah, Luke's been playing really well. He's right around the mark. We, we're speaking about him in the match committee. He's been emergency four or five times this year. So yeah, it was a um, unfortunate instance. I think he just rolled his ankle, but. Um, you know, he'll um, hopefully get back and put some uh, pressure on for spots later in the year. A few older guys have been rookie listed by the club this year. Um, Mark Bagley, Corey, we've seen at AFL level. How have you found them through the VFL? Yeah, Mark Bagley's been, been excellent. We's, we um, got him to work on his defensive side of his game. Um, he's you know, been open to that and made some really good inroads. In the last two weeks, he's been excellent. He, I named him best in the weekend and... I thought he played a complete game between offence and defence. Corey Dillow obviously got his chance a couple of times as sub um, in seniors and he came back in the weekend and had probably five or six shots in goal and unfortunately he only kicked the one. But um, yeah, he's he's a live wire forward and we all know what he can do offensively. We just need to keep working on his work rate and his defensive side of his game. Uh, a week off this week with the bye, but then you in round nine face Collingwood. What can, we, what can the fans expect in that game? Well, hopefully we can expect a few more players back. We've sort of, um, yeah, we've had a few guys obviously miss with injuries um, start of the year, and right, I think from right from now until the next sort of two or three weeks, we're going to get a lot of them back. So hopefully we see a lot of um, AFL listed guys against Collingwood. Um, you know, obviously it's going to help help the Bendigo team as well. Thanks for your time, Bomb TV. All right, thanks for having you guys.